Welcome to Briarfest News. On Monday, many items from Briar's Fling Souvenir Shop went on pre-order. I already went over many of these items in the previous Briarfest News video, but I'll show the ones I haven't went over yet in this video. Pre-sale on these items goes through May 31st and anyone can pre-order these. They aren't just available for ticket holders. There is quite a selection of shirts available. Last week we saw two Game of Thrones inspired shirts called House Bridey and House Bristol, while two more of those have been added, House Bouncer and House Brishan. So now there are four in total of these house shirts. Something else that's really cool about these that I don't know if it's just coincidence or if it was planned, but these four shirts are also sort of in the same colors of the Harry Potter houses. Not exact, it's really only like one color that kind of matches up. Like the red one doesn't have red and gold for Gryffindor, for example, but it is red. I think they could still kind of represent a Hogwarts house if you want to take it that way. And if you do want to take it as they also could represent Hogwarts houses, House Bouncer has blue, which means it could be for Ravenclaw. House Bridey has yellow, so that could be for Hufflepuff. House Brishen, green for Slytherin, of course. And then House Bristol, red for Gryffindor. I just think that's a fun added layer to these shirts, especially if you're like me and you haven't seen Game of Thrones, but you're still tempted to get one of these shirts. There's a couple color variations to some shirt designs that were previously shared that were added to the shop. This Briarfest text one also comes in a dark blue. There is a unisex shirt that comes in gray with the celebration horse on it. There is also a youth shirt with the same design, but the shirt is green. There's also a gray version of the Celtic Fling logo that says Celtic Fling Briarfest on the sleeve. So there's a lot of different shirts on the website right now. I'm definitely going to be ordering at least one of them, but I haven't decided yet exactly what I'll be getting. To find these shirts, by the way, you go over to Briar Events, and then under Briarfest 2020 Tickets and Swag, there is the Celtic Fling Swag link. There are some other swag items in the Fling Souvenir Shop right now. There is a drawstring backpack that's blue and green with the Celtic Fling logo. There is a Celtic Fling journal, a stainless steel water bottle, a keychain, a tumbler, a pint glass, and two different hats. There were also two tote bags on the site earlier this week, but for some reason now they are not there. There was one of those more heavy-duty material tote bags, and then there was the cheaper plastic one. And I don't know why Briar took them off. Maybe they decided they didn't want to put those up for pre-sale or something. I'm assuming we'll be able to order those two items actually during Briarfest. So there's quite a lot of stuff, and this isn't even everything for the souvenir shop. There will be even more, especially the Fling Shop exclusive models. And there should also be a Briarfest pin, as Briar does a Briarfest pin for Briarfest every year. Someone did ask if there will be Briarfest 2020 pins, and it sounds like yes, that there will be, but they will be actually during virtual Briarfest. They're not going to be going up for pre-order. The same goes for the exclusive pop-up shop models, like the Crystal and the Classic and the Stablemate and all those guys. Briar also did reveal the plush for the pop-up shop. This is one of those items that we can't pre-order, like I just said, but it will be available during Briarfest. The plush's name is Mackenzie. It says this year's super soft 6-inch plush horse, complete with his very own cozy scarf and tam o shanter cap, is done in this year's Celtic Fling Tartan. I'm probably saying words wrong, by the way. I apologize. He'll bring a taste of the beautiful Scottish Highlands into your home and is certain to shine in his place on your shelf. So here are the photos of him. He looks adorable and is a must-have for me as I do collect the Briarfest plushies, or at least the ones I like. And this one I do like a lot. He is adorable. And I love that Briar does these plushies designed to go with the Briarfest theme. Super adorable. A must-have for me. I don't really have too much else to say about him other than that. Two other reveals for this week are the Briarfest 5K medal and t-shirt. They also said that the kilt on the metal actually swings, which is very cool. So that's a neat addition to the metal. The lanyard for it is also a red and white plaid. The shirt is a green shirt that says Gaelic Gallop 2020 5K Briarfest. 
and has that awesome kilt logo design. I do love the logos and designs for the Briarfest 5k this year. I think it is so cute with the little red kilt. The t-shirt does not come included with the 5k purchase by the way. You do have to purchase that separately. It says all registered runners will have access to purchase a Gala Gala 5k commemorative t-shirt. Anyone that registers for the 5k however will receive the finisher medal for free. At least that's what it sounds like on here. I haven't done the 5k before so I don't know exactly how all of the different things for it work. In other news, Briarfest three-day tickets, both children's and adults, have sold out. They sold out yesterday, which is crazy. Briarfest three-day tickets for a long time typically didn't sell out, not even in person at Briarfest. However, last year, Briarfest three-day tickets did sell out right before it even started, which I believe they said was the first time tickets sold out before the event, but I'm not 100% sure. This is a pretty big deal that the tickets sold out this year in a little under two months before Briarfest. Now, of course, due to the current world situation with the event being virtual, there are a lot of people that bought tickets that wouldn't have been able to attend Briarfest in person this year regardless. But I think this is still a testament to how Briarfest has been growing over the years and gaining a lot of new participants. Along with the announcement that the three day tickets are sold out, Briar also said that if you didn't get a three day ticket, but still want to bring home a model of Bellano Castle RM, the celebration model, to stay tuned, more info will be released next week. I don't know the details on that, but if I were to guess, I'm betting they'll be offering some extras of the celebration model for sale to single day ticket holders possibly, but that's just my speculation. We'll find out next week what it is they'll be offering. If you haven't gotten any tickets to Briarfest yet, single day tickets are still available and while you won't have access to everything that 3-day ticket holders have, you'll still be able to participate in a lot of the Briarfest activities. Finally, a piece of non-Briarfest news. The next release in the Collector Club Berry Pony series came out this week. It is a Leopard Appaloosa on the Bouncer mold called Bill Berry. This is one of the Collector Club models that you have to enter for via lottery for the chance to purchase. And like most Collector Club lottery web specials like this, it is limited to 350 pieces and is $160 plus shipping and handling. This model is very cute. It has a very neat pattern and lots of nice little details like striped hooves, brown eyes, a two-toned mane and tail. It looks like the Berry Pony web specials have been made with a lot of detail and stuff, which is really cool. That about wraps up the news for this week. Stay tuned next Friday for the next weekly Briarfest news video. Bye everyone!